Thank you very much for coming back. I appreciate it. We're out here in Estero Bay, Florida. It's a beautiful day. It's been a while since I've been out on the water and I'm so excited to be out here and I'm so very thankful. Uh, today is all about being positive, uh, starting your, your uh, fishing day off in a positive note. Get excited. Imagine the beautiful big fish at the end of the other line. And uh, most of all, appreciate the moment and have fun. But thanks for joining. Let's get on them today. I have a really good feeling. And welcome to Estero Bay, Florida. <laughs> Look at that. Look how shallow they are. This is less than a foot of water. Look how shallow they are. I'm trying to eat all this. All the fish. To, all the bait. They're just destroying it. Look at those dolphin feeding. Beautiful trout. He's not very happy. Oh, and I forgot to buy fish grips. But look at this beautiful trout. We're gonna go ahead and harvest today. He's a beauty, right there, on the savage gear. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you, beautiful trout. Skunk is kicked off of the boat, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my first trout of the day. They like that fast erratic movement and I thought they'd be running right there in that little trough area and I saw them come up and whack it. So why I chose this spot, you see all the, the water just pushing in, it's going to start coming into a high tide, so just bringing all the bait into this area. So that's essentially what you want to search for. Even if you're in a new area, um, I'm going to say nine times out of 10, that's where you're going to have a very good uh, probability of finding predator fish um, because of all the bait just getting pushed. I got two snappers. That's crazy. Oh my god. Look what they did to that. GoPro died, but nice little grouper on a three inch paddle tail. Yeah, baby. Fight. Had a cut. Actually, had a pinfish. Oh. Gotta be careful. I got oysters. 
all around me there. I believe it's a redfish. Gonna get that one. Gotta get that one. Beautiful redfish. So this is what I thought. Come here, buddy. Yes. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Yes. Oh. Yes. Beautiful. Astero Bay Redfish. Yes. Thank you. All right, so it's been a fun day. Unfortunately, my GoPro or my uh, my camera um, I forgot to charge the battery bank so I wasn't able to record a lot of the action but here's this beautiful Sterro Bay redfish look at that beautiful tail heart shaped right there Mwah. I love you it's beautiful he's about uh, I believe he was 22 inches let me see what he is he's 22 inches yep, 22 beautiful red let's, uh, let's get him in safe release so we're just gonna make sure he kicks off and he's out he's out of here let's pick myself up this beautiful snook oh, man. there you go oh yes beautiful snook looks like a slot all right, so it's been a it's been an awesome day to say the least. Uh, switched up, used some live bait, caught this beautiful 28 inch snook right there. She's a beauty. Let's go ahead and put her back in the water. Look at that beautiful snook. Caught him on a popping cork with a with a pinfish. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, baby. today thanks for joining i'm sorry i couldn't uh show you guys everything as it went down this time my battery um i forgot to charge my battery bank but um what i mainly used today was uh this savage gear twitch bait i used a paddle tail on my shimano venford and then i had a uh, popping cork on my uh on my triumph and the popping cork is what caught the 28 inch snook and the uh the red i really appreciate you guys joining please come back uh, i'm going to be making a lot more videos i haven't had a lot of time to be on the water but uh i'm going to commit to it again and let's get it thanks for coming by bye bye stereo bay